Do you want a super tight looking green screen for your videos where you can put whatever you want in the background behind you, or you can present information on the screen and maybe explain things to people or do gameplay for your gaming videos, etc.? Well, I've got you covered. I've done professional AV for the United Nations, the President of the United States at the highest level, and doing this is simple. If you want to skip straight to the good stuff, description below is going to have the links to all of the gear I'm using. It's all available on Amazon.com. None of this is super pro level gear. I'm also going to show you how to use the free software, Opium Broadcaster software, otherwise known as OBS, and how to get a nice tight chroma key like the one that you're seeing right now, right through a webcam. Let's talk gear first. The webcam that you saw me start this video with is a Logitech Brio 4K webcam. I'm shooting this in 1080p. It can go even higher quality than this. And the side cam that I'm using is a Logitech 920 webcam. These are the two best webcams on the market. 50 bucks for the one that you're looking at right now. And it's about 200 bucks or so for this 4K webcam you're looking at here, which gives you nice crispy 1920 by 1080 resolution. Now here's the deal. If if you want to get the right positioning with your webcam, don't put it on top of your monitor. You need to buy a little gooseneck like this one. There's a link in the description below. It's about 20 bucks and you can get it exactly where you want it. Mount it to the table and it bends into position so it can be exactly at eye level right? rather than above your head or wobbling and what have you. It makes a huge difference when you're positioning it for your green screen and it allows you to, when you look directly at your screen like this, and when I switch to this other scene and I look directly at my screen like like this and I'm doing whatever I'm doing on the screen here, then you're not staring at the camera awkwardly the entire time. A critical piece of hardware I'd recommend to anybody doing serious live streaming or green screen presentations is this stream deck right here. It's what's allowing me to shift in real time to these different scenes, like where I'm addressing you with this face cam right here, and then I can quickly switch to the side cam over here, and then I can just press the buttons on these touchscreen that you can assign anything you want from recording to going live to switching between scenes to any keystrokes that you can think of. You can quickly just hit the button and you can demo things on your screen and then you can come back to talking to your audience in real time, all in OBS, all free on the software side. So this little touchpad right here, I'd highly recommend it. Stream decks are killer and they're a really good price. Switching to cell phone footage to show you my lighting configuration, arguably the most important thing to achieving a nice green screen look. The two behind my green screen here are newer LED lights. It comes with the light, with the stand, with the power adapter, with the carrying case, and with a diffuser to give you that nice wash for backlighting on you. And then most importantly, to wash your green screen so that it is brighter than you. That is critical to having a tight chroma key. Then, as I whip to the front of my setup, you'll see my two frontal newer LED lights. These are pointed up at a 45 degree angle to give the room a nice wash to light my shirt, to light my arms, etc. And then 45 degrees of that light is pointed towards my face so that I am well lit uh, from a facial perspective. As you'll see, these are in front of my desk, not right to the side of me, and I've got them up as high as they will go so they do not blind me. This is really important for using these lights for an extended period of time. As far as my green screen is concerned, there's only one product I would recommend, and it is the Elgato green screen. Link in the description below to this one. As you can see from the cell phone footage, you can just grab it, you can roll it all the way down. It's in a nice metal case that stays on the ground in your studio. You can latch it back up. It's got two support legs at the bottom as well. You just easily grab the handle and it's kind of spring loaded, if you will, so that it loads back up and goes back down with ease. You don't have to try at all to pull this thing up and down. It's super, super smooth. The only downside of the screen screen is that it is relatively delicate when it is exposed and open. So be very, very careful with it because you can cause wrinkles or damage to it. Just make sure you put it back in the case when you're done. I've used it in professional studios and home studios alike. Now it's time for the software side of this O, B, S is the name of the software, open broadcaster software. What you're gonna do, download this free software, link below. You're gonna go ahead and set up a new scene here. Then you will add a new source here. 
and I'm going to show you how to do it. I literally just plugged in for the first time my Logitech Brio to this computer, so we're going to set it up from scratch together. Hit the plus button here, then you're going to scroll up to video capture device. Click that and go ahead and name your camera, whatever it is. Stay organized. You're going to need to be organized later, especially when you add a bunch of additional sources. Then it will pull up your camera if your camera is set up properly. I can guarantee that the Logitech Brio or C920 I recommend will actually work when you do this. Sorry, other webcams, I can't guarantee it. Now your resolution and frame rate will be jacked up when you first plug this in, so you need to fix it. Let's do that. Under resolution, pull this down and go to custom. Generally speaking, you're gonna get the best performance in OBS if you just go 1920 by 1080 resolution. Then for your frame rate, I don't recommend going up to 60 frames or higher. I recommend just staying at 30 frames. You'll get good performance. You'll get solid frame rate. You'll get solid exposure that way. Okay, go ahead and hit okay. Hey, here we are. But there's a problem. There is non-green screen stuff on either side of me. How do you fix that? Go ahead and click in the preview on your webcam. See the little side square here on the side? Go ahead and click that side square there that will allow you to resize. Hit the Alt button and you can drag in like this and crop the side until it's only green screen on that side. Then you go to the other side, go to that square, crop in the side until it's only green screen. Check your head, check your bottom, make sure everything is looking good and it is. Great, but this isn't chroma keyed yet. It's just me on a green screen. That sucks. Well, don't worry, it's easy. What you do is you right click, on the preview on your webcam, go to filters. Then it'll pull up this filters menu. Under effect filters, you're going to hit the plus button. Then you're gonna hit chroma key right here. Now, here's what's crazy. If you do your lighting correctly, as I've told you with the equipment I told you to buy and you set it up exactly the way I just told you to do it, it'll be perfect. Default. You won't have to do anything else. If you'd like me to coach you on exactly how to do this one-on-one, -on -one, I'm happy to do that. I've done it for tons of people. Link in the description below to my Patreon, patreon.com slash AWOL Digital, A-W-A-L-L Digital. I can go one-on-one -on -one with you. We can do this in one session, up to three sessions, depending on how complicated your studio configuration is. Link below. Thank you so much for watching, and go create some amazing content, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it.